Hello and welcome. This is the scene here at Molyneux. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers taking on Liverpool. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's the Wolves lineup. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. So the starting lineup for Liverpool. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Thiago starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Thank you for attending today's game at the Monaco Stadium. Enjoy the match. A match that should be chock full of talking points. Liverpool get it going. Alexander Arnold. Van Dijk with it. Andrew Robertson. Here is Thiago. Here's Robertson. Good looking sequence, but quick thinking defensively. Thiago Gakpo really a very poor ball he's in behind and the keeper has denied him well I've got to say Derek he was always in control of that situation brilliant stuff Diego Costa moving forward effectively and credit is due for that good piece of defending Nunez it might be the moment to get them ahead pressing high and they have the ball again and he's fired it against the post and a goal, it was served up on a silver platter for him. Well, what about this? He reacts brilliantly. He's so sharp there. That's a very good goal. continues and it's on Wolves to show invention and perhaps level the game nice looking pass plenty of options and he takes it on goalkeeper in charge of the situation Who's going to get on the end of it? And still dangerous. Has eyes for goal. And 
the post denied him and keeper's ball in the end well look at the relief out there that looked a certain goal didn't it well it was certainly a chance to get back into the game and you have to say they're a bit unfortunate but they do need to finish off one of these chances well they're on the ball and they've just got to forget about that moment of misfortune and after the cross defensive action called for Nunez and now passing it through Free kick awarded then by the referee. It's a good Liverpool move in the making. And he's broken free. And it's in for Liverpool. Is there a way back for the opposition now? Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And Salah does the rest. He strikes it so cleanly. He hits it with power and accuracy. There was no stopping that. Underway. This might have potential. Could reduce the deficit. It's given him something to contemplate. And it's there for him. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Well, these fans can sense an opportunity here. They need to make the most of this corner. So the corner played into the box not the best clearance well it came to nothing in the end Salah well if truth be told he made it rather straightforward for the keeper well he knows it that is a real waste of a great opportunity and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time this looks threatening. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And what an emphatic strike it is from Salah. Hit with his laces. It's a great finish and a great goal. time left that will conclude the first half here at Molyneux well it goes without saying really that Mo Salah is naturally gifted but trying to contain him Stuart that's another matter altogether well he scored good goals but his all-round play has been excellent he looks like scoring every time he gets on the ball So back underway and no sugarcoating it there was a big gulf between the sides in the first half but we see a response from Wolves in the second the high press was very much on oh great attacking play and a strong glove on the ball from the keeper so a corner here And now the delivery, and the corner far too close to the goalkeeper. Perfectly positioned to take it away. A 
Ruben Neves. And Moutinho with it. Being pressed hard. And time for the change now. Number 29, Diego Costa. To be replaced by number 9, Raul Jimenez. Fabinho. Gakpo. Salah. On to Alexander Arnold. It might still be problematic. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play. Offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4 0. Ruben Neves. Moutinho. Nelson Semedo. On to Moutinho. Jimenez. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Darwin Nunez. Harvey Elliott. Alexander Arnold. And the corner for Liverpool. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Number 37, Adana Traore. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And a free kick awarded by the referee. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Well, as the stats confirm, Liverpool had the lion's share of the ball. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Yes, it's going to plan, and they might be able to carve out another chance. Alexander-Arnold. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. Mo Salah. And blocked for now. Really closing him down. Well harried into losing the ball. Really effective pressing. For Dens. And now passing it through. Just couldn't capitalise there. Now potential danger. And quite simply, a wonderful chance was squandered. Kilman. Five minutes to go. Nelson Semedo. And foul it is then. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. 
to be replaced by number five, Mario Lamina. Substitution for Liverpool. Coming off the pitch, number 32, Joel Matip. To be Delivered by into the box. Matip, and the counter looks on here. Options available. Alexander-Arnold. Pass after pass, happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents. He's in behind. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. <whistles> Who can they pick out? Well, no problems defensively. Alexander Arnold and an effective clearance. The sound of the referee's whistle. This match is in the history books and it goes down as a Liverpool victory. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest.